Luca, Ivy Masters Learning Center at IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 11th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 1 from the Blue Book app. Number 11 begins with a bar graph. So what do you want to do? You want to have an idea of what's going on in a bar graph before you go looking at the passage and you go looking at the answer choices. So the title, Economic Policy Uncertainty in the United Kingdom from 2005 to 2010. And we've got uncertainty on the y-axis. Of course, larger values will be more uncertainty. And then we've got our legend. Um, it tells us that the dark gray is tax and public spending policy, light gray is trade policy, and the black is general economic policy. And you can see that in 2005, the highest is trade policy. Same thing with 2006, that's the highest uncertainty. 2007, it's general economic policy is the highest highest 2008 tax and public spending policy is the highest so on and so forth so you want to make sure you look at the graph and have an idea of what's going on before you go looking to answer the questions now we read the passage and it says high levels of public uncertainty about which economic policies a country will adopt can make planning difficult for businesses but measures of such uncertainty have not tended to be very detailed recently however Economist Sandil Holtashwayo analyzed trends in news reports to derive measures not only for general economic policy uncertainty, but also for uncertainty related to specific areas of economic policy like tax or trade policy. One revelation of her work is that a general measure may not fully reflect uncertainty about specific areas of policy. Now, when I See that what I'm looking for is the differences between general economic policy and the other measures. So in 2005, you can see there's a big difference between um, tax and public spending and general economic policy. Um, there's a pretty big difference in 2006 as well. Um, it's more in line in 2007 and 2009 than other years. Um, trade spending policy is higher. And then we see uh, a relatively big difference in 2010, tax and public policy being much bigger. And to finish the sentence, as in the case of the United Kingdom, where general economic policy uncertainty blank. So this one, um, which choice most effectively uses data from the graph to illustrate the claim? It's a good idea to use your answer choices. Check in with each answer choice to see which one is best. Answer is A. So notice how the sentence was just before the blank general econ economic policy uncertainty what so we're comparing the black bar to something else aligned closely with uncertainty about tax and public policy spending in 2005 in 2005 tax and public policy spending general economic policy are right here it's a dark gray and the black so that's true but differed from uncertainty about tax and, and public spending policy by a large amount in 2009. 2009, there's not much difference between any of the three graphs. A is wrong for the second part of the answer. This is very typical of an SAT question. The first part, the first half of the answer choice will be true. Make sure you pay attention to that second part. In choice B, general economic policy was substantially lower then uncertainty about tax and public spending policy from 2005 to 2010. So is general lower than tax and spending? And tax and spending is again the gray box. 2005, it's a little bit lower. 2006, general economic policy uncertainty is actually higher. B is gone. Answer choice C. General economic policy uncertainty, answer choice C, reached its highest level between 2005 and 2010. In the same year that uncertainty about trade policy and tax and public spending policy reached their lowest levels. So let's see for the highest level of general economic policy. 2005 is pretty high. If I look to the right, it looks like it's actually highest in 2010. And in 2010, I see that tax and public spending policy is higher and trade policy is lower. Let's read that answer choice over again. Reach its highest level between 2005 and 2010. In the same year, 2010, that uncertainty about trade policy and tax and public spending policy re reach their lowest levels. No, actually, 
tax and spending policy was at its height there. Now notice what I had to do is I had to recheck there. It's fine. You know, I've been doing this for 20 years full time and you know, you gotta recheck. What do you gotta do? It's SAT, it separates who gets the Hartman Princeton and who doesn't. Answer is D, general economic policy. Uncertainty was substantially lower than uncertainty about trade policy in 2005. And we're gonna check it one piece at a time. We see um, trade policy in 2005, that's a light gray, it's up here. Could we say general economic policy uncertainty was much lower? And that's the gray, that's the black. Yes, it is much lower. Pretty big space there. First part looks true. Hopefully the second part is true because we're eliminating everything else. And then the second part of answer is the um, general economic policy substantially higher then uncertainty about trade policy in 2010. General economic policy in 2010 is here. And then once again, the trade policy, which is the gray, light gray box, is here. So yeah, general economic policy does look much higher. Answer choice D is your correct answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty reading these bar graphs. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.